Hey guys, welcome back to the Vera Project. So today I want to talk to you about, about a great brand, um, a filament uh, that's fairly cheap for you to purchase. Uh, they have promotions all the time. 10 filaments for $100 and you can get as many colors as you want in combination with that. Or sometimes they run different promotions of $120 for 10 filaments. And that brand is today is GST3D. Incredible. Uh, the print quality is very much like a uh, Hatchbox. Uh, I love Hatchbox as well. Uh, it's just that the rolls run between 21 and 30, and I'm a, I'm a, I love to print. Um, once you get this 3D printer with the Ender 5, you're constantly out there looking to see what you can print. It's like an addiction. I love it. So if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself into heavy 3D printing, and with different colors and combinations and things like that, I definitely recommend uh, GST3D. I'll include a link below. They're always running those promos. And basically, this is the promo one that I got. I got 100 of these. Uh, for $100, I got 10 filaments, all different colors, black, blue, red, clear. They have bronze, they have silver, they have light blue, dark blue greens, all the type of colors that you want to get, they're available. They're here located in Miami. Uh, they have two big factories here, so it's made locally, pretty much, you know, uh, in the US, so you can't beat that. So you get it immediately. Within one or two days, you have it at the door and you can continue to go ahead and print. So let me show you uh, some of those prints I've done with this filament to show you the quality of it. Hey guys, so I want to show you how well this um, filament is printing the GST 3D. It's phenomenal. Very smooth, as you can see. Extremely smooth. And I'm keeping the machine at 210, my nozzle temperature, and with the hot bed at 60. And it's wonderful. You can see the quality of how smooth it looks. It also has kind of like a shine to it as well. I'm very happy with this product. All right guys, so these are the final prints and some of the items that I printed. Just wanted to kind of show you the quality. So this right here is the tower to put in the batteries. This is here for 2x4s to be able to go ahead and kind of measure the center of a 2x4. This is a wire stripper. I'll kind of go ahead and show you what all these items will do. This is to actually hold for soldering items. Came out very good. The quality of the filament is very well. The quality of the filament is astonishing to be honest with you for the price that you're getting it it's incredible very smooth as you see here look out look at that shine it's beautiful all right so as you see here i bought i printed a battery holder a double a and a triple a the cool thing about these is that you take out a battery and it automatically feeds you the next battery Right, we have a ton of batteries with the kids because we're constantly going ahead and, and buying them different toys that needs batteries. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of print this in order for me to be able to um, to kind of store all the batteries. So just to kind of show you how it came out, this is that uh, GTS 3D filament. It's uh, very nice, wonderful. Look at that beautiful shine on there, okay. All right, so I printed a uh, wire stripper here. As you see here, you put a, <clears throat> a razor blade. Um, you can go ahead and put a screw in it to kind of hold it all together, but what I did is just I hot glued it, so it's actually a lot easier to remove later. But it does work very well. Let me show you how that works. All right, so as you see here, I have a piece of wire. You can kind of gauge it to see where you want to go ahead and place it. So I kind of want to do it over here. So all you got to do is Press down a little bit, twist that wire, or twist the tool itself. 
and then it should be cut enough. You see how it's coming out? Bam. So it works pretty well um, for being uh, printed with from a 3D printer itself. All right guys, so I printed these. Uh, you might be looking at like, what the heck is this? But really what it is designed for you to do is to find the center balance, the center of a two by four, right? So in this case, um, I wanna find the center because let's say I wanna cut it right in the middle this allows you to do that by automatically putting a pencil in between there or this way, right? And automatically helps you draw the center of that two by four, okay? Without having to have the need um, of trying to do it every, every so many inches in order to make sure that the center is perfect. So let's make sure we can do it a little darker here to show you. So I do a lot of woodwork projects and um, this, is, this comes very, very handy when it comes to those things. So, and another, and here is a smaller version, right? And they do have a smaller version of it as well. As you see here, here's a little tiny one. And I can do the same thing here, just to find that centerpiece if I wanted to cut the, you know, cut this baby in half. Okay. So, that kind of gives you an idea. Some of the things that you can print with the um, 3D printer, uh, different types of filaments as well. Uh, so I'm using the Ender 5 Plus. All right, so this is something else here that I printed. Um, I have to print one more of these. I forgot to add it to the print. Okay, so here, here's an example. So let's say that you wanna go ahead and solder this piece with this piece of wire, okay? The overall goal is for this hand, for another one of these hands to be on this side in order for you to be able to saw these and fuse them together, okay? So it gives you that ability of having that extra second hand or third hand or fourth hand um, in order for you to do that. So this is some of the things that you can go ahead and print out um, on the 3D printer as well. Just giving you some ideas, uh, you know, how to expand your mind on other things that you could be doing with your 3D printer. I went ahead and I added a rubber band to kind of give it that elastic feel, as you see here. Now it, it just bounces back to hold it really tight. So this is what the designer requested to do when you do get this, just to put a rubber band there to kind of give it that bounce back and keep it tight. So really well designed um, uh, for soldering. Let me show you what else I've made. All right, so something else I went ahead and printed was a lid that goes on top of this, like a cover, so it's not as bright as night, or when the kids come around here, they don't go ahead and start pressing buttons, so I ended up printing this lid here. It's for the Ender 5, and uh, basically just sits there nice and snug, as you see kind of protects the screen too so in case something falls on it it doesn't damage the screen all right here's another thing that i printed for the ender 5 uh, this here allows you to go ahead and strap this on here in order for you to go ahead and kind of hold your nozzles near so that way you can always change them instead of having to go through your drawer or wherever it is that you keep them so let me go ahead and snap this on here and show you what it looks like Okay, check it out. So here it is. I was able to snap it on here, and you'll see that I have five nozzles in there. Anytime I go, I notice that the nozzle is all corroded or whatnot, and I can't clean them out, then I'll go ahead and I'll put a new one. Now I know that it's there. See, and it's right next to my, my camera mount. 
some of the cool things that you can do in print. All right, so here's one last project I printed. This is a uh, MacBook Pro laptop stand. So I can keep the laptop standing this way. And um, as you see here, there was still a little bit black in the nozzle, so I kind of left that in there. But that's just because I didn't go ahead and clean the nozzle correctly. But um, the white filament is very nice as well. It printed extremely well. Um, I already took the supports out. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when I place the laptop on there. Okay, so here is the vertical laptop stand. I went ahead and uh, brought it over here to my desk so I can go ahead and, and make sure that the MacBook Pro can actually fit in here. And it does. So that's one great thing about having 3D printers. Instead of having to go to Amazon every time and try to get something you need, you can just go ahead, find it on Thingiverse, print it, and you're ready to go in a few hours. Okay, hey, well, I hope that you guys like the projects that I uh, put together and with the filament that I was recommending you. And this is the brand that I was telling you about, the GST3D. Uh, like I said, they have three different promotions right now for depending on how much you're looking to purchase itself. Um, I hope that you can go ahead, get your hands on, and start printing as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the Vera Projects. Go ahead and subscribe, and hit that like button, and we'll see you next time.